Uh, but yeah, welcome to my step-by-step uh, -step acrylic painting tutorial. Nice to see everybody here. Thanks for coming out. Um, for those who have never done this with me before, the idea is I'll be walking you step-by-step uh, through the painting right here that I created myself. Uh, the painting, as usual, doesn't have a title. It doesn't have a name. I like to have you guys name it, so I'm just going to uh, let you all chat in the comments and see if you have any nice titles for me to use uh, for when I eventually post this to YouTube, because that's what I do. Um, eventually I start to upload these to YouTube so that you can watch them a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, the way the night is going to work is that I have this here. Um, I'll actually be moving this down. So if you'd like a quick photo of this, you're welcome to take a quick screenshot or a photo with your phone. Um, I have a square version of this on Instagram if you'd prefer. Um, so lots of other places to look if you prefer. Uh, but otherwise, I'll be actually painting along with you. So you're actually going to see a blank canvas right here and I'm going to teach everything step by step and recreate this uh, to the closest I can uh, with you. So we're all painting together. That's kind of the whole idea idea of these. I like doing these um, online so that we can have as many people as possible painting together and having fun during these isolation pandemic times. So that's kind of the whole idea today. Uh, for those interested in the supplies, yes, we have the supplies listed in the chat there. Uh, we'll be using five different paint colors. We have red, yellow, phthalo blue, black, and white. And then I use my same usual three paint brushes. I have a large flat brush. There we are, we have a medium round brush and a small round brush, and then otherwise I have a cup of paint water and a plate, my usual volcano plate full of its, all of its paint and all of its glory, and, uh, and my apron. Shout out Terry, thanks for the apron. All right, so let's begin. So the first step, again, you'll see Fairy, I kind of go up and down here. First step is I'm going to, didn't get a pick, no problem. Yep, I'll keep it right here for a good minute or so. Again, it's on Instagram if you like, and it's in the Facebook event banner if you want, but I understand this is probably the best version right here. Um, so I'm gonna start with my large flat brush. And the first thing I will be doing is the sky. I'm just gonna keep this up for another half minute here just so anyone can take a quick picture if they need. You can see my sky is just a nice kind of light to medium blue, and I'm going to blend it down into a super, super light blue for you. okay? Just gonna keep it right there for a quick minute. Shani, welcome in. Cheers. There you go. <laughs> Marion, cheers. Nice. Make love to the canvas, says Bob. Cheers to everyone. Yeah. All right, Lori, hopefully that's good. If you need another uh, minute or so, let me know. I can always bring it back up. All right, for now, you can grab your large flat brush or just any large brush you have. You can dip it in your water. And we're going to mix what I call a light to medium blue. You can see it's not the lightest blue ever, but it's not really a bright blue either. It's just somewhere in between. So I would use lots of white and just a little bit of blue and mix those together on your plate. So again, I have my infamous volcano plate, very, very heavy. So it's gonna be kind of on my lap, but I will bring it up if I need to show you a color. <laughs> For now, a nice light to medium blue is pretty straightforward. So we'll keep it at that. Lots of white, little bit of blue. And this is going to be the top of the sky. So this will be the darkest blue that you're making, the darkest um, sky color that you have because we're going to blend it down to a lighter color after. Maybe a little more in there, let's see. Something like that, you can see it's like, it's more of a sky blue, it's not super, super dark or anything, but not the lightest you've ever seen. All right, what I'm doing with that is I'm just going back and forth, left and right near the top here, at the very top, not near the top. And I'm gonna bring it down just a couple inches. So I'm still gonna go left and right, back and forth, but just moving it down the canvas a little bit. So nice big strokes back and forth. That helps kind of smooth out all of the paint, makes it nice and even. Back, forth, back, forth. There we go. And if you're working on a canvas like me, you can definitely move it around the edges. So you have all these nice, beautiful sides here you can paint up. Here, you can go along the top if you want and the other side. I'm gonna leave that up to you though. I don't usually do that because I'm always picking up my canvas during the tutorial. So I just don't wanna get my hands super, super painty. 
So I'm gonna leave mine pretty blank, but you should do that if you want to. <laughs> An aggressive cheers from Pleb, thank you so much. <laughs> Smashes glass, whoops. <laughs> So that's interesting, Fairy, you were asking for the uh, the display painting. So something I <laughs> wanted to do before this tutorial, didn't have much time to do, was play around with different layouts and settings. Because something I can do on Twitch, everybody, is really um, kind of customize what you see on the screen here. Uh, usually when I'm painting, I actually have two different camera angles. I have all these little pretty things around me going on, just little things moving around, um, things changing all the time. And one of the things I can do is um, take a picture of the painting and then like stick it on your screen. You know, it'll be kind of like floating here or I'll put it over there, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna play with that hopefully before next week. I don't wanna say I'll have that ready for Sunday cause that's coming up quick, but maybe before the next uh, like Friday tutorial, hopefully I'll have that figured out. I think that would be very useful. Okay, so I've got that on there. The nice kind of sky blue. Now what I want to do is start blending it down to a lighter blue. So I'm going to do two more shades. I'm going to do this kind of light, light blue and then hardly blue. It's almost white, but not quite white. It's just somewhere like <laughs> just a shade above white. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the large flat brush. I'm going to mix more white into my existing blue. Lumpy, welcome in fellow buns. Hello. How have you been? How was your birthday? I know that was a little bit ago, but like last weekend, right? So again, I've mixed more white into my existing blue. I'm using the same brush. You don't even need to wash it off either. I just grabbed more white and mixed it in. And you can see it's just a little bit lighter now and I'm going to start going back and forth. And I'm gonna say I'll bring this down about a third of the way. Yeah, that makes sense, right about there. So new color, again, this kind of light blue is what we're using and we're just going back and forth still. Yes, I will be, Christy. I'll be on at uh, 10 a.m. EST. And again, I won't be doing a lot of painting tomorrow because we're doing a nice celebration tomorrow. There'll be lots of fun activities. There might be painting depending on uh, what happens <laughs> with the activities, but... Uh... Not as much as usual, because we're doing lots of games and stuff tomorrow. It's a nice celebration for a thousand followers, yeah. Family related things, cool, okay. Nice dinner, nice dessert type thing, just family time. So what I'm doing everybody is I'm just applying this paint first and then I'm going to blend it. So you can see right now, it's not blended at all. It's just kind of sticking up close to the next uh, shade of blue. but I will be blending it. So what I'm gonna to do to blend, whenever you're ready, you can keep taking your time adding the color if you need to, and then I'll pause after I blend. Just gonna take the same brush that I've been using this whole time. I didn't wash it off or anything. And I'm just brushing in between those two colors now. So in between that first blue and second blue. And you can see what happens is the scene gets removed. There's no harsh line at all. And it just kind of blends together, just softens up because your brush is picking up a little bit of each color and mixing them around as you go back and forth. So that's blending for you. You've got a nice kind of, again, sky blue down to a really nice light blue. Mm -hmm, no worries, Christy, exciting. Yeah, Mish, it was a big, um, big milestone to, to hit, honestly, um, four months in, so. I wanted to do something that was a little more just of like a casual stream, a little more of a thank you as well. Like I'll be giving out some prizes. As I said, I'll be mailing these to somebody as long as that uh, happens in the game. Uh, I have some other gifts planned. So lots of giveaway type things and just like, just like fun, silly things, you know, that I might be doing if certain things get uh, <laughs> win in the marbles race. So yeah, it'll just be a nice casual little fun thing. Everyone's welcome to come in and watch. And then we might be playing some games as well, like as everybody. So. Yeah, I had a great week at work, love playing your, oh, love the pie baking stream, thank you. Nice, yeah, Lumpy, yeah, we'll be playing some Among Us too if you're interested. Mobeen, welcome in, how's it going? Please let me know tomorrow morning, I'm going for a walk tomorrow at nine. I'll be online by 10 a.m., Christy. 
did making such a gradient take a lot of practice? Um, it takes practice, yeah. It's it's not a harder technique, I would say, lumpy, but definitely just like anything in art, it takes some practice, yeah. And just kind of getting used to, you know? It takes a little bit of um, uh, kind of figuring things out for yourself, what works for you, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you follow those instructions, you should be pretty much there, yeah. Yeah, Mish, well, I mean, it's so nice of everybody to be <laughs> continuing to tune in and support me, so... Yeah, and it's not all giveaways, let's be clear. It's not like every single thing I'm giving something away, but it's all just like goofy things. I have a whole list of things that may or may not happen. Um, what did I even list? I listed a few things in Discord. What were they? Well, we have uh, Miss Garok has donated some games to give away, for example, some computer games if people are interested. I'll open it in a second. I'll go on to the next step first, and then we can talk a little more about it. Okay, so next step, everybody, I'm going to wash off my brush. So same brush, the nice large flat brush. The volcano plate keychain for a prize. It's a little late, unfortunately, but I want to make something like that eventually, eventually. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix lots of white into my existing light blue. So it's going to become, uh, I described it as a barely white. It's barely white. So again, I'm mixing more white into my existing light blue, barely white. And same thing, I just want to start applying that on my canvas. I'm going to make sure this comes about two thirds of the way down. Oh, I got a little gray in there, it looks like, so I'm going to pour a little more. But it's the same idea, everybody. You're taking that paint, you're applying it back and forth, left and right, bringing it up to the previous color and then blending. I'm just going to mix more here because mine got a little dirty. There we go. I could play some mugs. Oh yeah, Lumpy, that's why I mentioned it, because I remember you said you were playing with Joyce, and uh, if you'd like to play, if you're able to commit to sometime between 1 and 3 o'clock. Sounds like so far, though, we have a smaller group, so you can really just say whenever you're ready to pop in. We'd love to have you. So you can see, applying that color again, you can see it's just a barely there blue. It's super, super light. I'm going left and right and going up towards the last blue. You're doing good. That's good to hear, Mabeen. Glad you're here. I'll try and join in. Yeah, yeah, Mish. Um, that would be great. Uh, I'll be live at 10, but again, like the games element kind of starts around 11. I just start at 10 because that's the usual time I'm starting at. But Saturday, it's Saturday, right? Some people like to sleep in, so <laughs> decide to start things a little later. And that's when the uh, kind of giveaways, prizes, things are happening. And then 1 o'clock p.m. is when we start playing games. So if you want to see that or join in, you're welcome to do that as well. Playing a computer game, I should specify, because these are all games. These are all games. <laughs> Starts giving away kitchen utensils because she's run out of giveaways. Yeah, I just run around my apartment. I can give you this. <laughs> okay, so same thing. Once I've reached the previous color, I'm just going to start wiping back and forth in between the two colors and that'll help blend them together. You can see that they're blending. There we go. There we go, and now we have a nice gradient from dark to light. Looks a little darker down here, but that's because it got a little muddy for me, so. Uh, I must, uh, I must, Mrs. Bun. You are a grandmaster of gamifying your art channel. No other art streamer come close to your level of mastery when it comes to engaging your viewers. No way. <laughs> oh, please. A lot of other art streamers do that, too. You enjoy it. You're just playing with choice. <laughs> oh, Lori, welcome in. Painting title suggestion, Autumn Glory or King of the Forest. Ooh, I like King of the Forest a lot. Just a little more, like, centralized to the deer. Welcome in. Welcome in. How's your week been? It'll be there. Excellent, Lumpy. What is this sleep in you speak of? Not for me. Not for me, Gray. I'm talking about anyone else. Others seem to like to sleep in on Saturdays, which is fine. <laughs> Great, thanks. I'll try. Yeah, sleep is for the week. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> That's what I say. It'll be fun tomorrow morning. Yeah, I think it will be, Christy. I'm really looking forward to it. I still have things to uh, pick up, honestly, and shop for, which I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning. That was probably a mistake for me to leave it that late, but oh well. <laughs> I have a list. I know what I need. Um, so that's the main thing. 
uh, busy uh, at my part-time job this evening. Oh, really? Okay, wow. I don't think I knew that you had another job on top of what you already do. Yeah, no worries, Lori. I appreciate you popping in. So you're there right now, wow. Yeah, that's what I think too. When does she sleep? I'll be on the computer a lot this weekend and complete an essay for Becca's discard. Oh, cool! An essay? What's it about? Here a moose is called the king of the forest. Good name for the painting. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll leave another quick half minute just in case anybody is catching up because we had a couple little blending steps there and then we'll move right along. Yep, I'm a working machine. <laughs> I can relate. Even though technically I'm not hired by somebody right now, I'm streaming a lot. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, Lori. <laughs> Blushes. Zoo, so you've played Among Us uh, like plenty of times, Lumpy, or just a little bit? Just want to know if you'll need to learn how to play or not. Everyone's welcome, even if you're new. I think it'll be a good time. And my first time streaming a game, so I gotta figure that out too. Again, I have a lot to do before tomorrow. Now feel bad for promoting something else. Oh, no, no, no! You're not- yeah, no, no, I asked the question, it's okay. An essay? No, I'm curious what the essay is, it's okay. There's rules in the chat, Lumpy, like I wouldn't want people to just randomly come in and start saying, Look at what I'm doing! Like, I, I, that's a little much, but <laughs> we're asking about it, and you're a friend of the stream, you've been here. Played a fair amount. Cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, thanks for being respectful, though. Ooh, Fiddler says, Thunderstorm here now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Still not here. Among Us seems to have a pretty popular game. Lots of people are playing it. Mm-hmm. Um, AOC was playing it on Twitch uh, just the other day. Uh, political candidate. And uh, had 400,000 people watching her. Isn't that wild? And she was just doing it for fun and trying to encourage people to vote next week. And I thought that was fantastic. She was just using a game to capture viewers and then say, please go vote. 400,000 people on Twitch watching her and a few other people playing it. Crazy. Okay, so uh, just to look at the next step here. We want to start laying some layers, laying some layers. Uh, so the first layer I have is this kind of rustic red. Um, I do that first and then what I do is I put the brown on top just for those kind of spotting the brown and maybe thinking it's the darkest color. It is the darkest color, but I'll be putting it on top. So rusty red is what we're going for first. So I'm going to use uh, my large flat brush again. I would recommend washing it off. And I'm going to mix lots of red with just a tiny bit of black. Just a teeny bit is all you need. So it turns into kind of this rusty red color. I said rusty a lot the last tutorial as well, but I'll keep saying it. <laughs> we had so many other names for the red and I've forgotten them all because I just default to rusty red. So just kind of any dark-ish red. See that? It's just a little more rusty looking. So this is going to be our base color. We're going to pile lots of other things on top. So I'm just brushing left and right back and forth and covering up the remainder of the canvas. I would say it's about the last quarter to last third, somewhere around there. So you can see it's about a third, I would say, more closer to a third, a quarter would probably be here, so. But really it's up to you, whatever horizon line you want. It's a philosophy change. Oh, very cool. Episode one, Alan Watts coping with the inevitable. Oh, wow. And you're doing this just for fun as a little essay. That's very cool. Lumpy tries to find comfort. Philosophy gains a smidge of- Oh, interesting! Okay! So it's helping you. Very cool. Very cool. Working at one. Oh, I'm sorry to hear, Harley. Well, you can be here for the games and giveaways, if you'd like. I'm not sure if you have a large commute to work or anything. Um, yeah, unfortunately you won't be able to play Among Us, but uh, you can be here for all the fun little uh, marbles giveaways. Wow, that's crazy, the number of people watching. Isn't it nuts? I forget if that was record setting. I don't know if anyone in chat knows if it was record setting. Oh yeah, and those 440k people are only the tip of the iceberg because there are another nine players who were big streamers, correct, who were hosting their broadcasts as well. So the real number may have been much more. That's a great point, Lumpy. Yes, so she was playing with nine other large, large audience Twitch streamers. And I know I saw one of them, Pokimane, she had like 60,000 on hers. 
So, I mean, add that in. Assuming they're different people. There may have been some overlap, but... Yeah, I'm sure they all had their own following as well. I think Hassan had something around that as well. Anyway, there's so many. Okay, see you, Mish. Safe drive. I think you said you were picking up uh, your kid at work. Safe drive, if so. Yes. It was for a gaming stream. Yeah. Record setting for gaming. Okay. So what would have beaten that? What would have beaten that? Just an event stream or something like that, I assume. Like, I wonder... The debate wasn't streamed, was it? People were reacting to it, but... That's pretty nuts. So again, I'm just bringing mine about to the third of the way up. If you need to overlap, you can totally do that. You can see I'm overlapping a little bit just to make it a little bit higher. Oh, Drake. Oh, Ninja Drake was 600. <laughs> oh, of course. That's crazy. That pulled 600,000. Considering I don't think that was planned, was it? I think that was, uh, whoops, kind of like in the moment. That was nuts when that happened. I remember watching that. Oh, welcome in, Mo. How's it going? Like our Drake. Yep. <laughs> like our Drake. <laughs> Everyone, I'm just giving a quick minute in case you're adding that uh, rusty red on the bottom. And actually maybe a couple of minutes because we do want uh, things to dry a little bit. We'll actually be moving back up and starting to add some yellow. So we will want to make sure that that's nice and dry. Cindy, thank you for the hundred bits. Oh man. Unfortunately, there's no, um, there's no alert just because I'm doing a tutorial, but I still see it in the chat. So thank you. Give you a little hype. Yep. Drake is a music person of some sort, right? Correct. And that's why it was so popular, Lumpy. He is a huge, uh, huge fan base. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Cindy, <laughs> you gave me a hundred bits, which is very sweet. <laughs> that's what you're doing. Oh, dear. Yes, he's a music person. And so his audience started tuning in and he was playing with Ninja, the gaming person. Yes. Still here, perfect Christy. Oh, cool, okay. Just logged into the laptop for Twitch. All right, Cindy, <laughs> I don't know if it was accidental. I'm sorry if it was accidental, but thank you either way. <laughs> Gave some bits. But yeah, I think it's because Drake tweeted about it or talked about it on his social media and a lot of his uh, fan base came over to watch. This kind of looks like a uh, popsicle right now. One of those rocket popsicles. Anyway, we're still waiting just for the blue to dry a little bit more. We'll be adding yellow first. And so we really want to make sure the blue is dry because if it's not, the yellow might mix into a green color as we add it. So we're just going to be a little bit careful with that one. We can always start a little further down here as well, but mainly we want to make sure we're going in dry spots. No, I got them to give to you. Oh, at a later time I was trying to read how to eat. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> At a later time. Oh boy, okay. Well, you gave them in the meantime, Cindy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't the time you planned, but uh, yeah, you gave them. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, either way, I'm, I'm just glad they were intended for me. I was worried that you would save them for someone else. I was like, oh no, maybe they weren't for me. <laughs> Do you make a pencil sketch on the canvas before you start a painting? Not usually, Lumpy. Um, usually what I do is I look at references. Uh, just like beside me, I'll do some Googling and Google some references. Uh, sometimes I work on my iPad to design a painting, but it's not really a sketch. It's more so just for color and uh, layout and stuff. Yeah. And if I do sketch on the painting, it's usually just with paint. I was doing that with these earlier. I was using just a light gray or a light yellow and I would uh, sketch out where the things were and then I just used acrylic to cover them. Surprise, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I keep telling people that, Grok, and then they say it always says come back later. I almost never see it say uh, that you can watch the ad. Barb's always able to do it, but that's about it. Oh, 
I'll give it one more minute just in case. I know mine is pretty much ready, but I uh, just want to make sure everybody else's is ready. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing, Gray, but I think that we never get that in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, and Cindy is in the US, so that's a good point. Mm-hmm, yeah. Barb always seems to have those opportunities to watch ads and then get free bits. Lucky her. All right, and I'll keep this up in the meantime. You can see what's going on. Rosaleon, hey, thank you for subbing. Oh my gosh. So just so you know, Rosaleon, my alerts aren't on, unfortunately, just because I'm doing a tutorial, so there's no fancy pop-up. Usually I have that on, but not for tutorials, just for distraction. But thank you so much. I see that in the chat. And I'll give you a little hype for it. I'm glad you've been enjoying it that much that you wanted to subscribe. Thank you very much. And welcome in. Yeah, exactly. Lumpy, uh, never get the option to watch ads for bits. You can get free bits by watching ads and we never seem to get it in Canada. I don't know if it's a regional thing or not, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot, Rosaleon. Thank you very much. So I'll talk about the leaves, I guess, while we're waiting for it to dry. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, Rosaleon. Thank you. <laughs> we have uh, three different colors of leaves. That's how I got all this layering here. And usually I start with the darkest and work lighter. That's actually what I do down here. But up here, I did the opposite? Um, question mark? I was using a reference that I found online, just a photo that I really liked. And it really looked like the lighter color leaves were behind everything. And I think it might be because if there is a light source somewhere, it's not really in our photo, but maybe it's up here or kind of like below the horizon line. All the light color leaves are kind of getting the light first and then all the darker ones are on top or closest to us. So that's why I did it a little bit differently. Again, usually I do dark to light, but this is light to dark. So we're actually gonna start with this uh, kind of really bright yellow color, kind of like a golden yellow or light yellow. Kind of like peeking there. You can really see it kind of peeking everywhere. And then we'll do kind of an orangey color, like a nice light orange. And then we do this kind of, again, rustic orange red on top. So that's three colors. We'll start with the first one. First one, again, is a very nice light yellow or light golden color. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the medium round brush. Okay. And I'm going to mix together uh, three colors actually. We're gonna do yellow and white to begin with. It's just a nice bright yellow that we're creating. So yellow and white. So I'll create a very, very bright yellow. And then just to make it a tinge golden, a tinge. Just instead of doing like a really lemony bright yellow, I wanted it just like a more of a tinge of golden color. So I'm just gonna grab a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red paint and mix it into my yellow white mixture. So again, it will still be, I would consider it still yellow, but it's just like a tiny bit leaning, more orange, I would say. Golden yellow, orange, whatever you call it, but still a nice bright, bright yellowy golden color. Very light and bright. Never got that. Oh, okay. Yeah, check in more often, Lumpy. Maybe you'll see it. Wish I could do that. Yeah, no kidding. I do too. I would love to give bits to everybody. Oh, not sure if he's here, but I'll make sure... Um, I'll shout him out if I see him. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the medium round brush. I'm using the tip of the brush. And just to show you the layout of these leaves, first of all, um, you can see what I do is I leave a little bit of a gap between the ground here and the leaves. So you can leave a little bit of a gap and put lots and lots of leaves going like this, kind of coming, coming down here. Oh, Alicia, what was the ratio of yellow to white to red? I would say um, mostly yellow. Let me get ratios for you. Hmm. Ratios, like three, two, and one. Oh, three, two, and like 0.1. <laughs> um, mostly yellow, little bit of white, the tiniest amount of red, just the tiniest amount. Start with your yellow, add some white to it. So like go like two to one maybe. And then the red is like point, point one. <laughs> Just the teeniest amount. 
Anyway, yeah, layout here. So a little bit of a gap. I leave a gap in the middle, of course, as well, and then uh, kind of carry that gap up. You'll also notice that I do lots of leaves close to the bottom. And as I get further up, you can see more gaps in the leaves. So also note that you're leaving more spaces in the leaves as it gets further up like this. And that's because as everything is moving further away, they're kind of lumped together a little bit more, less space in between. So less space, more space. Yeah, Alicia, if you need more clarification, let me know. All right, so I'm just gonna start uh, again with a little bit of a gap from the uh, bottom part here. I'm using this, the uh, tip of the brush, either just tapping or doing small strokes. So just doing a small stroke, lifting up or tapping. Both of those work. Because of the shape of the brush, if you're using a shape like mine, it creates all these little leafy shapes. That's great, thanks, perfect. Nate, nice to see you, it's been a minute. How's it going? I'm doing a little acrylic painting tutorial right now, but what's new with you? So even though everybody were really stacking these leaves close together, I still do all the little brush strokes because you can still see all the little brush strokes there. It still adds texture, still adds lots of layering. So I wouldn't skip ahead and just do something like this. I would still go and do all of those little individual leaves. Just keep piling the paint on your brush, tapping or stroking, and you'll get there. Hopefully you find it a little bit soothing. I know when I was doing these leaves, I found it soothing just to kind of lose myself into making all of them. Yeah. Nate, I've been good, thank you. I've been very busy with streaming. Man, I'm doing it a lot now. Gotta give myself a little break, I think, soon, but uh, not a big break. Don't worry, guys, I'm not leaving you. <laughs> Panic ensues. Um, yeah, yeah, lots of streaming. It's my second time today doing a tutorial now. We were just doing some fun painting earlier. But that's pretty much been my life. Just working lots. Oh, okay. Is that a new thing? Are you like back at work or were you working before too? If it helps everybody, if you're worried about kind of the shape of the leaves, kind of the shape of where everything's going, you can kind of just dot on a couple like this, kind of give yourself a little bit of a border and then that way you know not to go further out or further down. So feel free to do that. And then as you work your way up, you can make sure you're not moving too far away. But again, small, uh, sorry, medium brush tip and just kind of doing small little brush strokes. The other thing I'm doing, by the way, is I'm not doing all the brush strokes in a line like this. I'm kind of moving the direction every time. So they're all kind of going diagonal, down, up, wherever. And that way they all look a little more clustered. The options on the computer look so different than the phone. I don't know why I've been using my phone. Right. The phone's pretty limited, Cindy, for Twitch, yeah. They do their best, and I, it's because it's on the phone, right? They can't slam too many things in there or else it gets overwhelming, but I agree. Certain things for sure. Jurek, hey, how's it going? How have you been this week? Back to work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because I feel like you were on quite a bit more before, so it does make a lot of sense you're back at it. Are you enjoying it at all, or is it kind of like, oh no... Hopefully it's a positive. I know everyone kind of thinks of it differently right now. For some it is, for some it isn't. So just continuing to add. Uh, one other thing I'll mention too, when I'm getting to the sides, I really like to make sure the leaves are a little more dispersed. So that means I'm not clumping them quite as much. You could even go a little in and out of your gap, you know? It's not like I'm covering the whole gap here. I might just do a leaf or two that are a little bit outside and then bring them back in. But in general, when you're close to that outside, I would recommend spacing out the leaves a little bit extra, just so it looks a little more delicate on the outsides. I'll show you what I mean here. See how they all kind of go in and out a little bit. They get a little more dispersed. So that's my recommendation for you. So I'm still keeping them nice and tight together. I have barely any gaps down here, maybe just little bits. And now that I'm kind of coming up a little bit more, I'm gonna start leaving some gaps. Just allow me to mix a little bit more. There's lots of, lots of this golden color being used. So yeah, maybe I'll just kind of touch a little bit less or I'll leave legitimate gaps like this. I'll just kind of leave wide open areas and then kind of continue around. So anything along those lines, just to start to make it a little more dispersed. It's all right. <laughs> just got uh, just happy to still have a job. Yes, exactly. But I was, I gotcha. 
That's what I mean by everyone kind of takes it a little bit differently, I think. Because it is good that you're back at work for sure. There are some who don't have that opportunity right now. Uh, me, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. I hope it's not too hard. Again, time off was probably lovely. I get it, I get it. And maybe that'll come again, so I think it's good to uh, take what you have now. You know, it might... We don't know what's going to happen. Good evening. Good evening, Rally. Nice to see you as well. Love how we see lots of different people in the evening. I know I mostly stream during the day, so it's fun to see all the all the usuals, but not as usual during the daytime. You know? You know? Yeah, Rally, how's it going? Lumpy, I'll read your message in a quick second. <laughs> One moment. Okay, so I'm still adding everybody. Just keep taking your time. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy step. It's uh, not super hard. It just takes a lot of time, of course, because you're just dotting away, stroking away. All right. Uh, oh, Mrs. Bun. <laughs> you keep calling me Mrs. Bun, too. I'm not married, just so you know. <laughs> Miss Bun, Miss Bun. But whatever, I'm not too picky. Anyway, I'd like your opinion on a delicate topic related to art streams. You all have some sort of points for art redeem. Sure, I grew up in an artistic family and I feel super bad about using such a redeem. I don't want to exploit an artist. Oh, Lumpy. I have lots of thoughts on that. Um, you're not exploiting me. <laughs> Here's the thing, Lumpy. I chose to put that up. If I think um, it's being used too much or abused or whatnot, exploiting, I would take it down. And uh, so far I haven't taken it down because I really like doing that. Um, I think 100,000 buns for now um, is a good amount. It means that people who have 100,000 buns um, have been supporting me and just viewing me for a long time, a long time. For context, um, I think our first redemptions were about four months in. And not to say they were there, there from day one, but uh, Groat Gray redeemed uh, about four months in, so let's say it took them three months, and that's three months of watching me all the time, you know? So that's huge support, and I wanted to thank them for it. And to be honest, Lumpy, I really enjoy making those because it's like a custom painting. I don't really get to do that a whole lot just for fun without, you know, releasing that to the wild and saying, you know, anybody tell me what to paint it. This is a special thing for people who watch and support me, and I'm more than happy to do it. And again, so much fun to hear what everyone wants painted. Um, thus far, everyone has been super respectful about it, too. I, I made it clear in the redemption uh, that I can't be expected to do absolutely anything. I can't paint the Mona Lisa on a small canvas. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, people have really taken that to heart and done a lot of fun things that they know is attainable in a couple hours. I kind of put a budget, I think, of at least two hours on there. And uh, people love watching it, too. I think it's a great thing for everyone to kind of come together and watch as well. Everyone gets excited for the person redeeming and... It's just a whole big bonding thing for everybody, so lots of reasons why I think it's not exploiting me. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun, so that's my answer. Um, others might think of it differently, and I'm sure others who do think of it differently won't have that redemption on their channel, and that's fine. That's uh, it's personal preference. Rally, sorry, that was a bit of a <laughs> bit of a whatever speech. Not bad. Just got back home, and it's about 2:40. Oh wow. How are you? I've been good, thanks, Rally. Doing lots of painting, lots of painting. You just got home. What were you doing? Were you working till 2.40? I'll catch up on chat in a second, guys. I'm just going to concentrate on getting some of these leaves on. And keep in mind, everybody, too, doing this. Um, we're going to be doing different shades as well. So, I mean, if you have a little more space than you think you need, you can always just make sure that you're covering that with the next color. So, for example, I think it's a little spacey right now. I'm going to leave it, though, because we have two more shades to go. And I'm going to move over to the other side because I need to uh, hurry up here with this color, I think. Uh, pour more. Woohoo! Yeah, exactly. Grok and Grey are right there. <laughs> oh, Anna, you're going to hit it tonight. It's going to be fun. So if you hit it tonight, Anna, I won't be able to do it for the next couple days because of all the planned streams, but it'll give you some time to think about what you want, so that's good. I know you said you had a couple ideas swirling. All right, so same thing. I'm just going to mark off where I need to go. Let's go like up here. And then I'm just filling in that whole space generally. Yeah, you're going to hit it real soon. Real soon. 
making an attempt at following along. But I'll say it now, mine's nothing. That's okay, Pleb, that's okay. Those who have followed along will say the same thing. There's is never the exact same. Even some say it's nothing like yours, and that's okay, Pleb. As long as you're having fun, you feel like maybe you're learning something here and there that's like bonus, but mostly just having fun. It's gonna be about a year at my pace watching you, okay? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows, Lumpy? Uh, might go quicker. I know people subscribe and they get buns quicker that way, or if you like contribute somehow. So again, it, it truly is a way to show that somebody supported me, you know? So it's all good. If it means you're watching for a year, that's fine too. Whatever you like. Showed a giveaway and I won. It was by far the best. Right? Yeah, Joe does amazing giveaways. Yeah, she does her digital art. It's amazing. Exactly. We plebs are probably tomorrow. You think so? Ooh. Work and practice. Yeah, exactly. So still keeping everything nice and tight down here. You can see, you can start to go quicker if you feel more comfortable with it. Otherwise, just keep taking your time. We'll be doing this with a few more colors, so we have lots of time to play around over here. This painting is a lot of layering. We have lots of layering here, some layering down here. We'll do the branches, yeah, or the trunks, rather. Oh, no worries, Pleb. Lemming, welcome in. I just saw your message there. I'm just going to catch up on chat, though. Because uh, I saw Rally responded. No, it had band practice. Oh, okay. Went out drinking. Is it friends please playing cards? Oh, nice. Okay. All right. You're back home safe. That's good. Been mulling over. I would have you paint. Oh, okay. Like your Sakura at night. Right. Mini version. Ooh. That would be pretty. Yeah, in a year. Yep, decide. <laughs> you can think about it for, whoops, for a while. Oh, I got some paint on my original. No. It blooped on there. That's okay. That's fixable. Yeah, that's half the fun lumpy is thinking about what can actually be painted. And I'm sure it'll change throughout the year, too. <laughs> sure you'll see me do other things. And that's what people in the chat were saying they saw me do different styles they're like oh i kind of like that style now i would probably do that style da, da, da. so they've been changing their minds which is fun okay starting to fill that up a bit more Um, I think most of the people who follow you on the regular are also artists appreciated. Do what you do, not take it for granted. Oh, of course. Yes, I can't wait to reach 100k. Yeah, Fairy Bun Kitty. Oh, of course. Got that one back there in the meantime. Definitely, Cindy. Again, it's been... Uh, I've, I, there's only been two redemptions, but even the ones talking about what they would redeem for, just super understanding and respectful of exactly the time that I'm giving and... Not asking me to give them the world on a small canvas, you know? Because <laughs> that was, uh, I just wanted to communicate that and make sure it was well said in the redemption. I didn't want anyone disappointed when I wouldn't, uh, do exactly what they wanted, you know? So. Uh, Groke, I'll ask again. It's my fault, I, I keep forgetting to DM you. Um, if you have a budget for shipping, that would be helpful. Just because the next time I go to the post office, I want to be able to ship these if possible. Um, so if you want to let me know like a budget, a general budget, that would be super. And then if they say a different number that's above the budget, I can let you know and check in and we can talk about it and see what our solutions are. Or I'll look at other companies or something. Yeah, I keep forgetting to message you, though. <laughs> Best conversations. Ooh. My reflection. True. <laughs> oh, of course, Lumpy. Oh, Faye, interesting. Um, I'm not sure if it's on my end, because I can see my microphone's on. Just the bottom left might help. And yeah, Lemming, let me know how you're doing. Mm-hmm, refreshing. Mm-hmm.
Okay, I'm just adding a little bit more, everybody, and then I'll do a new color for you. Just want to make sure I get a good layer of this golden yellow on. Because the idea, too, is that we want some of this left behind, right? We don't want to cover it all up. Uh, Phoenix, another artist who does tutorials, always says that the start of my painting isn't going to look like my painting and your painting isn't going to look like... Yeah, exactly, Phoenix. That's correct. They're always going to be a little different. Even mine is going to be different than mine. You'll see. Mm-hmm. One million dollars. Miko, welcome in. Hello. For a hundred K, I think the bat you paint is cute. I'd take that as a reward, too. There you go. That's so kind. Well, it's just a free gift for tomorrow, so there we go. How's it going tonight, Miko? All right, so everyone, I'm going to move on to the second color now. So my second color is more of this kind of orange. I would say it's pretty close to the original. Uh, original kind of yellow golden color, but just a little bit more on the orange side. So I'm going to use the same brush. And it's pretty much the same mixture, except just a little more red now. So it's still a yellow to white mixture, yellow and white mixture. About like two to one, I think I described earlier. But this time add just a tiny bit more red. So instead of like 0.1, do like 0.5 or 1. <laughs> one little dollop rather than a tiny smidge. Professional terms. So again, still a light orange, but definitely more on the orange side rather than yellow or golden yellow. Uh, the little one, uh, Christy, is a, I think it was 4 by 6 inches. 4 by 6. Surprise it was offered by members of Twitch. I found musicians today. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, Cindy. I think you could have a lot of fun running around Twitch seeing what people are doing. Uh, I'll just talk a little bit more about the next step first. So I have this now light orange. And we're going to start piling this on top of the yellow. So I was saying before, we want to use this as a layer. But we don't want to completely cover up the yellow because that was a lot of work we just did. We don't want to cover up all of our hard work. So you can see how I'm starting to space them out a little bit more because I now have the area covered with yellow. It's not like I need to pile these on as well. You can just keep using the same technique and uh, just kind of put them on a little more spaced out. So now we have two different layers going on. Otherwise, you're doing the exact same thing. You're not doing anything different or putting them anywhere differently. You're just putting the putting a little less on so that they're not covering up all of the yellow. And I said before, you can even use these to fill in more gaps if you want. So if you have any large gaps where the yellow didn't make it, you can use the orange now to fill up those gaps as well. Again, keeping in mind, we want it maybe a little more filled down here, a little more open as it comes up. But yeah, Cindy, it's, uh, it's endless here. I mean... A lot of people relate Twitch to gaming, and that makes sense because it is the most popular thing to do. There's lots of different games that people watch and play. Uh, musicians, baking and cooking, obviously. I don't know. Yeah, you saw that I was doing baking the other day. Lots of people do cooking streams. Just anything you can just kind of learn about. People do outdoor streams where they go on hikes and things. You can kind of go on a hike with them. Maybe, they, maybe they're just hiking and you're chatting. Maybe they're hiking and actually teaching you about animals and stuff that they're seeing. People do gardening streams where they uh, take you around to their garden and show you all their vegetables and talking about their gardening techniques. There's just knitting, like anything, really anything that you feel like you could learn about or bond over, that could be found on Twitch. It's very cool. You can search through all the categories and check it out. Shipping fees can be a bane. Oh, I know. Ugh, yeah, lumpy. It's uh, and that is the one thing, of course, with the with the redemptions of paintings. I make it clear that I, I can't I can't commit to paying for shipping, and I make it optional. So both the redemptions so far, Grok and Gray have said, oh, happily I'll have it shipped. I'll pay for shipping. So that's what I'm working on for them now. Just getting the rates and stuff, getting their packages all ready. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry about Automod. I'm great. Thank you. Can I just say how impressed I am by your ability to keep up the chat? Oh, <laughs> I try. I try. I feel like I'm a little behind right now just in the chat, honestly. I think I'm... Oh, yeah, I'm on pace for painting. That's fine. Um, but yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's a learned skill for sure. It's a lot of practice and trying to manage both. And it, I think it just comes with fast painting as well. <laughs> um, I've learned to paint very quickly, so I'm able to hopefully teach the step paint a little quicker, hopefully not too quick for everyone following along. 
and then uh, keep chatting. Yeah, I want to do both. And answer questions and stuff, right, for those who are painting along. So it's important to me that I'm keeping up as best I can. I think that's about enough orange. So you can now clearly see two layers versus one on the other side. So I'm just going to move on to the other side now. No worries, Christy. I'm a website now. <laughs> People build Legos on stream, Grok. That's wild. I, I would have guessed, but at the same time, <laughs> I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have known that off uh, offhand. There, people build Legos. There you go. People do puzzles on stream, like whatever. Just anything you might find relaxing to. It's really whatever they want to do too. I mean, some people are on here to grow and gain an audience, but in the end, I think they're mostly gonna do what they want. So whatever their interest is. You should do a mobile candle stream in my driveway. I actually want to. I've just never done anything outside of this apartment, and I almost said this room, but I was like, that's not true. I did my cooking stream, but it's all hooked up to computers, and that's my issue. I think you can stream from your phone, but I don't have a good data plan, and I'm worried what that would do to my uh, phone bill. <laughs> but something to look into for the future. I heard you guys want to see me make candles, so I'm, I'm going to try and look into that for a stream. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Pleb, do what you need to instead of yellow. Yeah, I mean, if you like it though, Pleb, just keep going with it. I mean, this was my design here with this uh, these certain colors, but it's fall. All of those colors that you just mentioned are beautiful fall colors, or just the orange, I guess you mentioned. So perfect. Cool. No worries, Christy. No problem. Have a good sleep. Thanks for coming. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I'll be putting like a rustic red in the leaves, Pleb. That'll be the last color I do, yeah. So if you're doing like a darker orange, I think you're right on track. You'll still have room for one more color in there. If you want three layers, you could e easily do two as well and be pretty good with it. Especially if your two colors are a little bit darker or a little bit more, um, a little bit different from each other. Because these two first colors of mine, they're pretty similar, so. I thought a third one was needed in mine, but it might not be in yours. Yeah, and that comes with time too, Pleb. I know at the start it's very, like, you want to be able to do exactly what I'm doing or whatever the reference you're looking at is, and you start to learn that uh, just it's just better if you do what you want. <laughs> I know, like, in the end you kind of want something that you're using as a reference or that is being taught, but you'll see beauty in what you're making too. It definitely comes with time, though. More and more. Yes, you don't need to panic. You want me to do kangaroo jumping? <laughs> Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, like use your Wi-Fi. I'm sure I could do that. Oh, Miko, dang. Sorry, my alerts are not on, so I uh, didn't hear that little bit. But thank you, my gosh. A little winking Kappa. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's funny. Ding. Nice little sparkle in his eye. Thank you, Miko. I really appreciate it. Again, alerts are off just because of the toot, but thank you. As soon as I get my room clean, I'm going to start streaming. Cool, cool. Okay, good. No, 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 no mess ups. You're good. See you tomorrow, Christy. Got darker. Oh yeah, no, I. Uh, that's the right track, um, Pleb. The whole idea of these layers is I get darker and darker. So as long as you're getting darker with whatever like fall colors you want, that's totally fine. Because that way it looks like the light is kind of coming from behind, right? That's the whole strategy here for doing the light to dark. And I think I'm happy with my orange. So again, you take your time, do as much or as little as you need. I'm gonna move on to this kind of rusty red color. So pretty much the same color we just did. You can see how it's pretty similar, this compared to the background color here, the base color. Uh, maybe it's a little brighter, just a tad brighter up here. So that would mean less black was mixed in. But for the most part, excuse me, I would call this another rusty red color rather than just a bright pungent kind of apple red. It's a little more rusty. So no rush again, whenever you're ready, you can mix your third color, just red with a tiny, tiny bit of black in there. 
just so it's not like the brightest red you've ever seen. You just want to make it a teeny bit rustier or a teeny bit darker, however you want to think of it. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Emerald. Always being awesome when expecting that. Oh, thank you. I try. <laughs> All right, so there's something a little different about these leaves, so I'll just talk about that for a second. Um, so before we had the yellows, the oranges going absolutely everywhere. The reds, you can see, they stay a little bit higher up. Uh, you can see there's maybe like a little sprinkle down here, just a wee little bit. And then they start to get a little more heavy as they come up here. And again, that's because if the light source is behind, theoretically, then a lot of light is going to be here. A lot of the darkness is going to be a little bit kind of closer to us, higher up in the foreground. So it's the same technique, just placement is a little bit different. So again, your rusty red. I would start maybe a little bit higher than bottom, just tiny, tiny little dots, tiny, tiny little brush strokes. So using the very tip of your brush lightly, just kind of sprinkling. I'll say the word sprinkle again and again and again and again. And then as you get further up, you can start to press a little bit harder. You can add a little bit more of this color and that'll start to fill it up. Uh, I was from using to mix the colors separately. I'm a noob. Uh, mixing the colors separately. Uh, well, I am kind of. Welcome in wood. Um, you want to describe a little bit more? I want to make sure I'm not uh, being confusing for you. Like, I'm mixing them separately. Oh, well, on my plate, you mean? Um... You can use the same piles over and over again if that's what you mean. That's kind of up to you, Pleb, if I'm understanding correctly. You can do either. You can do either. <laughs> Funky crunkies. Hello, Todd. How's it going? Hey, Todd, you always call us different bun things. What are the different bun names that you call us? Bunions. I think that's more of a wood one, bunions, but... I don't know, bunlings was one, I think. We're trying to think of all the bun community names. If either of you have any, I'm down to hear them. If anyone here has any more, down to hear them. So same technique again, I'm just kind of adding just a little slower because this is a darker color, right? We don't want to be quite as generous with this one. Oops, my buns. Big contrast on this last color. Watching Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Sweetie me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Is that for a prompt, Todd? I assume so. The Kraken. Don't remember the ones. That's okay. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm getting sad because I'm forgetting them all and I wanted to keep a record of them all. So I'm going to start to do that. I started writing a bunch down. I think Bunlings was one. I think I just remembered that right now. I know you don't do one every time, but I feel like you usually greet with one, so I'll make note next time. And the other thing I tend to do with this color is I kind of like keep it in a little bit more of groups. I'm not evenly dispersing it everywhere. Maybe I'll pile a little more just in this area here, or I'll go up here and pile a little more. It just helps make it, again, look a little more kind of layered as if there's like different trees with this red rather than all of them. So just pile a little extra in certain spots and then you'll get more of that layered look. Kraken is Sweeney Me is not. Oh, of course, yeah. I assumed it wasn't a prompt to watch that. Sweeney Me, that's funny. And again, keep moving your brush. Keep going like up and down, left and right, diagonal. Lots of different different strokes, different directions. Now you could do that. That's cool. Oh yeah! People were- oh, I'm in a pumpkin now! People were doing that with uh... What were they doing that with? It was like a little bubble or something last time? Or a mask. They put a little mask on the bun. I thought that was really cute. The bun was being safe. Oh god, I need to copy paste all those bunions, bunlings, bunites, bunners, bunnites. <laughs> Bunalongalgans? I can't even go there. 
upon a lunga. <laughs> I'll copy and paste those. Thank you. It's a good collection already. Gems. Yes, there are. Not for me, though. Those are like uh, BTTV things, I think. I was meaning to do that. I don't know if I'll have time anymore, though. If, like, Twitch takes a week to approve, that'll be too late. So I was going to make a little ghosty bun. But I didn't get to it. I'll make some uh, holiday Christmassy ones. Now that I know that's a thing. It's a good idea. All right, I think that's filling up nicely on this side. Again, doing a couple like small ones right on the edges here to kind of disperse it a little bit. I'm gonna move to the other side. Same idea, same exact steps, just different side now. Okay, I gotta copy paste that before it disappears. Got a notepad thing going. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, I got some paint. Yeah, Pleb's working here. Slapping paint, just slap the paint. I do it too. Bunny nights, do they ride in bunnies? <laughs> I thought too. It's like okay, okay. They ride in bunnies. Ah, I love it though. <laughs> Brandon. Oh, thanks, Wookie. I just copy pasted it, but thank you. It's good for the records. It's good for the records. Multiple places. If one place fails, we have them in multiple places. Oh, I've been raided. Uh, but apparently Twitch doesn't think it's important to notify. I hate that, Big Bill. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I disagree with that, too. Welcome in, Big Bill. Thank you so much for the raid. Yes, Twitch doesn't think it's important. I don't like that. Welcome in. Uh, can we shout out Big Bill if possible? Thank you. Big Bill, what were you working on? What were you doing? Do you do art and stuff? Let us know what you're up to. Thank you very much. You were streaming art. Cool. Tell us about it. Love to hear. Again, annoying. I agree. I don't like the Twitch thing. The Twitch change. With the raids. Uh, Bill, just for context, I'm doing a uh, acrylic painting tutorial right now, so I'm kind of working on doing this step. I'll be reading chat here and there. I try my best to keep up as I do this, but we have people painting along with me, so I want to keep on time here. But welcome in. Everyone's happy you're here. Whoop, ray. Did some digital art. Oh, cool. I don't do a lot of digital art, but I love digital artists. Do you do commissions or are you just kind of practicing today? It is a cute emote. I want to see a big version. Yes, welcome in. Follow. There you go. <laughs> All digital art fans, check out Big Bill 1981. I did a Halloween themed piece. Ooh, a pumpkin and some bats. Cool. I made bats today too, and pumpkins. What do you know? <laughs> Look at that. I painted those earlier. Me me. I do commissions, but traditional. Gotcha. Okay. So do you paint as well then? When you say traditional commissions, or is it drawing, sketching, ink? Tell us more. Tell us more. Are you Canadian? <laughs> Tell us, tell us. Again, thank you for the rate though, Bill. I really appreciate it. I'll be checking it out. I draw. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So much patience for drawing and sketching. So much respect. I don't do a lot of drawing or sketching. I paint quickly. <laughs> I don't have the patience. The important question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wanted to ask because, um, what was it? A rice girl came in and I forgot to ask her. And then someone told me after she left, oh, she was Canadian. Your theory is supported. And I was like, no, I should have asked her. I should have talked to her about that. So now I'm going to ask straight up now. Are you Canadian? Starting to really fill up here. I have an Instagram link if you're interested. Oh, that would be lovely. Yes. Sorry if I didn't offer there. We would love to see what you're working on. I can't pull it up on stream, but 
Um, if you'd like to whisper it to Miss Groke or Gray in the chat there, that would be lovely and they're happy to post it. Or if you want to space out your link, we can put it together for you. I just have link sharing turned off because of, you know, spam and stuff. So I'd love to share that for you though. And I will check it out later. I just don't have time to display it with the tutorial going. Any other stream though, I'm happy to. I do this once or twice a week, Bill, and other times I'm just streaming as I paint, so a little more attentive to chat and stuff. I'm almost there, everybody. I'm just adding a little bit more and then we can move right along here. Quick butt neat and neat. <laughs> and evening, Aaron and Twitch friends. Hello, Amanda, how's it been going? How's your week been? Yeah, I try and keep it neat. Sometimes it gets a little messy when I'm doing these, but still something. Funny, it seems every art stream I go to there. That's why I asked. That's why I asked. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, Bill, please. Just space it out if you want. Again, no need to even whisper. Just space out like Instagram dot or just put the slash and then your name. We can put the Instagram in there and post it. I'd love to see you. Have you been streaming a while? Oh, great. Thank you. Yes. Lovely. You you whispered. Lovely. Thank you. Check that out, please, everybody. Click that link if you prefer. Lovely. Thank you, Bill. Didn't know Canada had this many cool hours. <laughs> Emerald. It's, uh, it's just been a funny trend. There are great American streamers, too. Great American artists. But it seems like every time I vibe with another Twitch artist here, it's they're always Canadian. Just the kindest... This beautiful, artistically talented, loving, wholesome, always uh, Canadian art streamers. Glad you see it too. Okay, I'm pretty happy with mine. So again, you can see I've left some gaps. That's the way I like it, having some gaps in there. So I'm just gonna give everyone another minute or two in case you're adding, and then I'm gonna do more layering. I'm gonna move down the painting. Things you notice when you were on the computer versus the phone. One, Aaron is much prettier than I thought. Oh, please. Two, Aaron has a nose ring. Oh, you didn't know that, Cindy. My gosh, I wear this all, all the time. I never take it out. Yeah. Hee hee. Good busy busy at work. Uh, new routines to get students into. Oh, interesting. Okay. Are things changing at your school? I have to go eat some pie now. Oh, Bill, I support this so hard. I did that during stream today. I ate some pie. <laughs> An affiliate cinnamon. Oh, congrats! Cool cinnamon. Out. Oh, yum! That's what it smells like. <laughs> I didn't look at it. Sure, sounds good. Bill, enjoy the pie. Crabby goat. Hello. Which province are you in? I'm in Ontario. I'm going to. I'm in. I'm in Ontario. I'm going in Ontario. I'm in Ontario. Whatever. Crabby goat. I'm in Ontario too. <laughs> Long answer short. I'm Southern Ontario area. Welcome in. Welcome in. Things always change. Just gotta get special news soon. Suggested. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. I guess I was wondering if there are any big changes due to COVID or anything. I'm always trying to keep track of how that's going in schools. Not gonna lie, I originally thought it was a pimple on the side of your nose. Oh yeah, sick. <laughs> that's great. Could be, honestly. I've had pimples in here and here before, so maybe it was one time that you saw it. Who knows, that's okay. I used to have a little stud instead of a ring too, and that really looked like a pimple, so I started doing the ring, yep. All right, comparison. So the only difference I'm really seeing is maybe I use some lighter colors to start. So the red is a little more contrasted, but otherwise the layout's pretty much there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so assuming you're done with the leaves, I'm gonna now move down. We're gonna do more leaves, <laughs> more of them. Uh, so let's see. So I'm gonna start by doing, what did I do here? We had this kind of like reddish orange color first. So you can see what I do is I pile darker leaves here and then lighter ones here so we have more of a pathway. And I'm gonna leave the brown for last. The brown really helps kind of show you where the pathway is. And then we're gonna do the trees on top. You can see how they layer on top of everything. So first let's do kind of like a reddish orange color. This will not blend in. It won't really show up a whole lot on top of the red but it's still good for layering. It still gives a slightly different color there. So we're gonna do that first. And then we're gonna move into the, these kind of like rusty kind of beige golden colors. Um, a little more, uh, rather than like a plain yellow or a golden yellow, it's kind of more dimmed down, a little more like crunchy looking. 
how else would you describe? I don't know, like dirty looking, kind of musky looking. Yeah. But for now, just a nice like reddish orange. I'm gonna keep that there so I can see it. So still using the same brush, washing it off. And I'm going to mix red, lots of red with a little bit of yellow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lots of red, little bit of yellow, same brush. I'm Southern too, I'm down south from the Canadian board. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got some Southern friends here. I'm South too, Southern Ontario though. So if you'd like, you can start to actually uh, carve out the pathway. So my pathway starts right in the middle, very nice and tight together, and then it's going to expand outwards as it gets closer to us. So if you want, you can start to kind of mark out where that is. We will further define it with brown later, but it's good to mark it out now because we are adding these outside leaves here. I'm gonna look at this so I can get a nice, yeah, mm -hmm. straight on look. It's hard to do it on an angle there, that's better. There, second line there. And it's the same idea, we're just doing some brush strokes, tapping or stroking. I would say you don't need to cover up quite as much as you did up here. This is just smaller layers kind of all piled on top of one another. Because again, we want to see that base color coming through anyway, so. I'm pretty southern, southern hemisphere. Oh, where are you? <laughs> yeah, you win. You win the uh, southern contest then if you're southern hemisphere. So see again, barely showing up, but still something, especially when we add more layers on top, you'll be able to see these underneath and all the different transitions of leaves. Southern Australia, oh, okay, okay. Maybe I did know that, you're doing the sunglasses thing. And I think I was talking to you about how other viewers from Australia love that little sunglasses emoji. And I said, what is it? All of you use that little sunglasses guy. I think it's so cute. I think it's really cute and funny. You all do that. Yes, that's right. Okay, yes, I remember now. Cool. I will remember for next time. I do my best. There's a lot of people to remember, but I want to remember everybody. Real Smash, welcome back! It's going well, thanks. I'm doing a little acrylic painting tutorial step by step. So I have some people painting along with me. Some are just hanging out to chat. What's up with you? Okay, so that's our first little layer again. Not a very prominent layer, but still important. Still something I did in the original. So wanted to do it again. Do -do -do. Just giving another minute in case you're still adding. I am prepping the next color, honestly, but I will tell you what it's about uh, when you're ready. <laughs> Just getting some things done here. Do you quite well remember? Oh, thank you, Kana. I try. <laughs> Oh man, I really- and locations and just everything, you know? I want to be able to remember everything. Because you're all individuals. Yeah, good. Okay, good, good, good. Again, I know you were here earlier, so it hasn't been that long since I've seen you, but still. Okay, so I'll show you these colors again. Again, I had trouble describing these because they're kind of different. They're really not light yellow or golden. They're not really bright. They're kind of like, again, this kind of like crispy looking rust, not rusty. I keep using the word rusty. I don't know, dirtier colors, you know? 
Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. You can see we pile on like one layer of these and then we're gonna do a big layer on here. And then I do a lighter version on top of this area here to get a little bit more of a light area, I guess, right on top. Some nice highlights. Okay, so I'm using the same brush here. Using lots of yellow. Little bit of red. And to make it kind of this like dirty looking color, I've added a tiny bit of black. So we're back to the tiny amounts, like the 0.1 ratio if you're doing your ratios. <laughs> Two yellow, you could do like two yellow to 0.5 red to 0 0.111, 0 0.01, whatever, of uh, black. Just a tiny bit. And we're actually going to put that everywhere. So again, that's going to be the second layer. See, it's like this golden kind of, yeah, dirty golden color. Putting that as our second layer outside of the uh, pathway. Burb! Oh, just popping in, can't stay. No worries, thanks, Burb. Enjoy while you're here. Are you gaming? Do you have some plans? What's up? Spill the beans. Same thing, everyone. I'm just, again, making sure my brush is moving kind of up and down, left and right, diagonal. Giving a nice second layer on top here. Not brightening it too much. And I will do some in here as well. So you'll kind of lose the pathway a bit. You'll still see where the orange is but it's gonna look a little combined for a quick second. So just pile them on for now. And then we'll lighten it up for the actual pathway. There was some drunken uh, crap dropped in my beer. Oh no! Next thing I'm using a hair dryer melted this. Oh no! <laughs> One thing after another, oh no. Put it in some rice or something maybe. I don't really know what the solution is. Hope it all works out though. You're typing, I guess, so something's worked unless you're on your phone now. So you can see again, the pathway is kind of getting a little combined here, but we will sketch it out again with some light colored leaves on top and eventually the brown. The brown is what kind of really shapes it out, carves it out. Little more, just moving to the right hand side. Ordered pizza and a huge bottle of root beer. Oh, yum. Although I hate root beer, I'm sorry. <laughs> just like excited for your whole pizza and uh, pop scenario. Not a fan of root beer, so sorry. I'm using a carry to pull the space. Oh, okay. All right, good luck. <laughs> kind of pizza, yeah, good question. Oh, no worries, Harley. Um, so the color I'm using, it is kind of a weird color. Um, I'm calling it kind of a dirty golden yellow color. I'm using lots of yellow, just a teeny bit of red to make it more on the golden side. And then to make it kind of this like dirty rusty color, again, how many rusties am I gonna say? Um, just a little bit of black in there, just the minimal amount, because the black is really gonna turn it super dark if you add a little too much. So just grab the teeniest bit on your brush, mix it in, and I describe it as like dirtying up the color, kind of dirties it up a bit. It's not like your bright golden yellow. You can see it's a little more, yeah, dimmed down, I guess. <laughs> no worries about the root Yeah, we all have our preferences. Just state in mind. I think it's disgusting. Never liked it. I always wanted to with those A&W like frosted glasses full of their delicious quote unquote root beer. Just never enjoyed it. So yeah, the outsides you can see they should have a couple layers now. They look a little more filled up. And we're going to fill up the middle even more in a second. I'll give another quick minute in case you're still adding. So these, those leaves went everywhere just to uh, repeat. Did you go over the pathway? Charlene, yes I did. I did the same color all the way. So the pathway is kind of lost right now. You should still see where you put your orange and we will kind of carve out the pathway with two more steps actually. So we will get that back, don't worry. Uh, now I want root beer. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Guess I'll have to settle for actual beer. Good solution. 
The works from Papa John's. Oh, okay. I don't know what the works uh, involves, but probably just lots of toppings. And that sounds delicious. Sorry, I have to be in the mood for it. <laughs> I gotcha. Again, pizza pop though. Mm, nice comfort food, as you said. Give me some Dr. Pepper instead. That's what I'll take. Thank you. Okay. Da, 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 da. I think the works is what Papa John's calls their supreme. Oh, that's like my favorite then. Great. Mix of veggies and meats. Oh, okay. Yeah. Supreme, deluxe, all of those things. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Are you barfing or are you like happy rainbows there? You don't like? It's my fave. <laughs> yes. I don't know if it's a good barf or a bad barf because it's rainbows though. All right, so I'm gonna move on to my next color, everybody. So the next color is just kind of a lighter version of what we had, okay? So we had this uh, nice kind of golden color. We're gonna do a nice light golden color now. You can see it's pretty much the same thing, just a little more, yeah, a little more white, excuse me. So we didn't have white in our previous mixture, so we're just adding a little bit into that and you'll see that it really brightens it up. Dr. Pepper, yes, veggies, bleh. It's a bad barf, oh no. But it looks like it's such a nice barf. My fave meals and veggies with Dr. Pepper to drink, yeah? Is there a good, bar yeah, it's a rainbow barf. <laughs> So again, I'm just gonna add this in the pathway. So you can now recarve out your pathway if it helps you just do a couple little dots along the edges, kind of following where your orange started. And same thing, we're just piling those on top and you can see how it really brightens up the middle where the pathway is. Not a fan of root beer, only kind I will drink is homemade from Amish country, Lancaster County. Oh, really? Okay. It's better if it's homemade, interesting. I've never tried that before. Jules, welcome in. Oh, I'm gonna do this one ASAP, love it. Yay! Welcome in, nice to see you. It's been a little minute. How have you been? Yeah, this will stay on Twitch right after I'm done, Jules. I'm, I'm still very behind on uploading to YouTube, to be honest, so I don't wanna promise when that'll happen, but it will happen. I'm not ditching it or anything. It's just, it's just been a minute since I've done it, um, but you can watch it on Twitch. It'll be available on Twitch for months, yeah. It's amazing when one burger prints out Dr. Pepper on receipts and gets abbreviated as DP. Mm hmm That's what I call it, too. He 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 he. Ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> no veggies for you? I've uh, actually expanded my veggie horizon. It used to be like gray. Peppers and onions are amazing. Yeah. I'll, I don't know if there's any veggies I horribly dislike. As a kid, for sure. But I can't think of any veggies that I, like, can't stand. Let me think. Throw out some veggies that you think might be gross. I'll confirm. And I figured out beets. Yeah, not by Dre. Dang it. <laughs> Delicious. I added white sushi. Thanks for asking. Just a little bit of white. Because the white, um, if you add yellow, it still might be a little transparent. It'll brighten it up a bit, but it won't be quite as distinct right on top. It won't uh, lay as nicely on top. So I find adding a bit of white really helps with that. It can, you can see it's just nice and bright and opaque on top. I thought it was more important to do that. Mushrooms, oh, I love mushrooms. Dandelion greens, I guess I haven't had those. <laughs> Rose buds are good, yeah, they're delicious. Green beans, yup. Onions, blah. <laughs> mushrooms, amazing, I know, I agree. Turnip, I love turnip. Not love, but I like. Again, I wouldn't ditch the turnip. You like the taste of vomit. Hey! <laughs> so, ooh, Mary. Mary, you make a good point. Celery is, it's just boring. <laughs> Jules, I see your message. Nice to see you. I hate that I'm in. Oh, no worries. Don't worry. Don't worry at all. Just always wondering how you are. Uh, I've been bottle feeding. No worries. The kittens, of course, are on the clock. Yes, yes, yes. I remember that update. Catch up though. No, no problem. I'm always just curious how you're doing, you know? When I don't see someone for a while, it's not like, oh, where did they go? It's just more like, what are they doing? want a little update all good all good i'm glad that's keeping you busy it's again a nice thing that you're doing yeah celery is boring in my opinion it's just kind of like what are you about you're just watery vegetable stringy gross uh josie i'm using a, a lighter version of my last kind of dirty golden yellow color so uh that would have been yellow with a tiny bit of red and then um 
sorry, yellow, little bit of red, tiny bit of black. I know my sizes aren't exact there, but yes. <laughs> um, and then the color I'm using now is that color just with a little bit of extra white in it. So there you go. If you need me to repeat, let me know. I know I kind of went back and forth. Lots of yellow, a little bit of red, tiny bit of black for the original color, and then add white to it to get this new color. That's all. Raw turnips, interesting. It's like diet, fen it's like gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Phoenix love celery, ugh. Like maybe if you load it up with stuff like peanut butter and all that. Cindy, you always want candy corn. Squash with butter, brown sugar. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice and soft, mm-hmm. Not a fan of celery or mushrooms, with the exception of one type. Oh, capo. Thank you, I try and pop in often to uh, give a quick hello. That's great, yeah. I know, you were here like a couple days ago, and I followed your Facebook page and all that, yeah. I really appreciate even the quick hellos, yeah, but again, Jules, it's all, never any pressure. I think celery is one of the veggies in the category is like, this is better when it's cooked, I agree. Like, I, yeah, I like it in soups. Good, Josie, I'm glad you got it. Sydney, this is my first time on Twitch, but I joined late. Will I be able to go back and start from the beginning? Yes, you will. I think someone just answered yes. Oh, perfect. Yeah, Sydney, <laughs> this is common. The chat is like so helpful that they answer before I do. <laughs> um, yes, uh, so <clears throat> to access the videos, you'll just need to click my username and then you'll see a bunch of little tabs. It says like about, uh, schedule, videos, and then you'll click videos. And once I'm done streaming tonight, so in about half an hour to an hour, you'll be able to find this video and watch it. Um, I will eventually move it to YouTube, just so you know, but I'm a little backlogged on that, so I just don't want to promise that'll be within the next couple days. Um, probably best to just come back here. Yes, but thanks, Jules, for answering. That's my long-winded answer for you. Asparagus is delicious. Serving soup is good, don't like raw. Exactly, it's just boring raw. It adds a little bit of crunch to soups, which I appreciate, but just as a whole, it's just like, what are you? Yeah, or peanut butter, exactly. Slobber it with some, slap some peanut butter on it. Asparagus is delicious. <laughs> gumbo. I love gumbo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Make it pretty easy. Yeah, I've made gumbo before. Yeah, you're welcome, Sydney. And thanks for popping in. It's no worries that you're late. Uh, everyone has a lot of stuff going on on a Friday. I'm doing another one Sunday if you want to follow along live, but otherwise the video is available for you. Yeah. Feel free to stay in chat, too. We're all talking foods right now. <laughs> Our food preferences. This is common. Used to eat raw carrots like crazy. Not good. It is not good for eyesight? Is that a, a, a false fact? That's all I was taught as a kid. Carrots are great for your eyes. Is that not right? Cucumbers are delicious. I love asparagus, too. Dicey carrot, light onion. Mmm. Yeah, all the veggies all together. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. So I'm gonna go on to the last color of leaves here, which is this brown. I really like the brown just to uh, kind of outline and carve up the pathway here. Only difference, you can see I do a little bit uh, smaller leaves. You can see they're kind of sprinkled on. Um, I kind of imagined it maybe like dirt or something rather than leaves. So I just maybe made it a little bit more textured, less like leaf shapes. They're more like dotted on, just very teeny tiny. So I'll mix some brown with you. If you have brown pre-mix, then lucky you. You can use your pre-mix brown, but I've got to mix mine. So the three colors I use to mix brown are red, yellow, and then a little bit of black. So I start with red and yellow to make orange, and then I add teeny amounts of black until I get a brown color. So equal amounts, red and yellow, one to one ratio, then a little bit of black. And it'll make a nice chocolatey brown. Not a true thing, interesting. I believe carrots would be good for eyesight. There's a thing around. Interesting. Carrots are good in fried rice. Yup. Fried rice would be banging right now. Make yourself some fried rice. Want fried rice too? Make yourself some fried rice. I'll make myself some cauliflower rice and pretend it's fried rice. All right, I've got my brown. So again, I'm just not, I'm not doing big shapes that I was doing before. I'm just kind of doing smaller ones, kind of either tapping my brush or just doing small little brush strokes just to make it a little more textured, a little bit more like kind of dirt has piled up, kind of like what happens in the forest, right? When there's a little trail, there's kind of like a pile of dirt kind of forming the, uh, the pathway. Sometimes if it's a fancy forest trail, 
Otherwise, it's just kind of stomped down. This is a fancy forest trail, though, so we have a nice border. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Right on the border, and then you can really see the pathway. Change in the freezer is good snack. Make yourself some okay. <laughs> some fresh homemade Doritos. Congrats. <laughs> you can make for Doritos. Yes, it's magic. <laughs> Teach us. Doritos cooking stream when. Alright, just tapping on the other side, same thing. Tapping our small little strokes with the tip of the brush. Guys, we didn't get a storm at all. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Again, good because I was worried about power, but sad now. I wanted it spooky times. I want some spooky storms tonight. We didn't get it. Whee. Gray, is the storm passed over you? Yeah, it's all gone. That's the pathway. Tapping the tip or the side? A little bit of both, uh, canine. Anything that gets you a small stroke. So I, I, with tapping, I usually go straight at it like this. You could angle it maybe a little bit. That works as well. The both of them give you a nice small little dollop of paint. Or sometimes you could even use the side and just kind of stroke. Just small amounts, like you were doing with the leaves before, but just a little bit less and with a lighter touch. Yeah. There we go. This needs to be a little darker. Cool. <laughs> That's good, Miko. Oh, okay, K9, no worries. Just some rain. That's good, Gray. Yes, exactly, Lumpy Southern Ontario. Hold rainy all week. Mm-hmm. Shorts wearing. Ooh. Yeah, it was a nice day. Um, Even today, yeah, I was going to say before the, uh, the storm watch and all that. Yeah, it's pretty wild, Jen. It's probably not a good thing. All right, everybody. So I'm going to keep using this color, actually, and we're going to move on to the trees now. Well, we were doing the leaves of the trees, but now we're going to do the trunks. Uh, so for these trees, you can see I didn't really do any branches. There might be just one or two. I don't know why I did one or two, just kind of playing around with doing a couple V shapes. But for the most part, you can see they're just straight up and down. Just because I figured like they'd kind of be hiding in the leaves, right? We don't want to see a whole lot of branches. All the leaves are kind of covering them up. Um, so I guess the only strategy or I guess like tip here in terms of layout and what we're doing is that I start with very small trunks on the insides here. So near the middle, you can see they kind of end off very quickly and they're very thin and small. And then as I get further out to the outside, they get a little bit thicker and a little bit taller. Again, perspective wise, they're getting closer to us. They'll get taller and wider. All the hand movements. EC Printer, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. I'm new here, a printmaker and painter. Oh, fun! Tell us more about what you paint, if you prefer. Uh, for brush, everybody, you can use whatever brush you like. I like to use the large flat one. Large flat brush for me. Yeah, EC Printer, just for context, I'm doing an acrylic painting tutorial right now, so I'm kind of switching back and forth between teaching and chatting. So feel free to chat. I will catch up with chat when I have time. Lots of people just chatting and having fun, though. Some are painting along, but some are just here watching. So yeah, make some friends. We're all very friendly here. So again, same color, just using a different brush, the large flat brush. That's my preference for trees. Uh, I like to use the thin bristles just up and down vertically. And again, I'm going to start by doing a couple just very teeny tiny ones. So I'm just very lightly pressing, trying to drag the bristles upwards to get some very thin trunks. It's going to be scary at first because they're going to be the only trunks on there. You're like, oh no, I can see every single imperfection. They're not perfect. But once you add lots, because we're adding lots, all those little wiggles and imperfections that you don't like get very, very hidden. Okay, so don't worry too much about how the first few look. 
I'm gonna switch here just so I can look a little more straight ahead. I am trying to release pressure a little bit as I go up just so I get a little bit of a wider bottom and a thinner top. So just try and release pressure on your way up to get a nice thin top paired with a little bit of a thicker bottom. Again, they won't be perfect and that's okay. Make everyone sick so they can think they're gonna <laughs> What? Oh, for the weather difference. Yup, I can relate. That's what happened to me uh, around the spring summertime, James. I was so scared. And I think it was just straight up the weather. I always get uh, a little weird with big weather changes. My body does not take it well. Okay, you can also choose different places to start your trees. You wanna make sure you're not just always starting them at the, the, uh, the pathway here, kind of along here. You can start them in here, up and down in here. So keep switching that up as you go. Again, I need to look at this a little more straightforward just to do this, so forgive me as I tilt it over here. I'll try and get a bunch on it once and then show you. So again, releasing pressure on my way up, you can kind of move the brush handle down and that helps flick the bristles to get kind of thinner tops as well. You can go over top a second, third, fourth time if you need to over certain trees, if you need to thicken them up or straighten them out or whatever you need. But keep in mind, trees can be wiggly, right? It's not like they're all perfectly straight up and down. They're just mostly going up and down. They can kind of wiggle here and there. But the goal is to really fill it up just to get a nice dense forest. So once again, might take a little bit of time, but worth it if you really just be patient with it, really fill her up. See how they're starting to really, really, uh, yeah, tighten up there. I would assume so, yeah. I, uh, if they'd like to speak more about it, feel free. Um, but like printing and art, yeah, it's like you're making a design. Some, uh, I feel like there's different ways to do it, but some people kind of carve it into kind of like a thick piece of board and then they can stamp it. But I feel like there's lots of different kinds of printmaking too. I like the look of them. I've never really gotten into doing them myself, but I just like prints as a, a form of art. And usually what people do is they make like a certain number of prints, you know, they'll make like a hundred copies and you'll have the little number on the bottom, two out of a hundred, three out of a hundred, whatever. And even though it's the same design every time, each one's going to be a little bit different depending on how the ink comes off. So that's what makes them all a little bit unique. Like the imperfections, it's what makes them cool, I think. But to each their own. And then another tip, everybody, if you find the paint starts to run out on your way up, it's, it's a lot easier, I guess, to do one solid stroke. You can see what I'm doing. It's one solid stroke all the way, rather than needing to like refill your brush and continue. So if you find that it's um, running out, I would maybe dip your brush into the water. Use kind of a wet brush when you're grabbing the paint and that'll help extend the paint use all the way up. It helps it drag a little bit easier and go all the way up. It's just a teeny bit of water. You don't want a whole lot, but a little bit helps. Starting to really fill up. Yeah, keep in mind if you use a lot of water, it's really going to thin out the paint and to the point where it might become a little transparent. So that's why I kept saying it's just a little bit of water. Don't want a lot. There's also a photography form of layered painting. Oh, cool. 
Uh, very time material intensive though. Oh, okay. Oh, and Martinez, I turned my painting upside down. So much easier. Good idea, yes. That's very personal preference. I think I might not like this, honestly, just because I'm so used to going uh, down to up, but here, yeah, here's a demo. That works for sure. Press a little harder at the top, come down, release pressure, and flip it around. It's a tree. <laughs> yeah, it's a great tip. I do that with reflections, I find, M. Martinez. Yeah, I, uh, if I have a tree going like this and then I want the reflection, I'll just flip the whole painting and do it the way that I like, you know? But yeah, everyone has preferences. Up to down, down to up. Doesn't matter. And I've even seen people start from the top of the tree, too, rather than even flipping it. If they like uh, up to down, they've just used a teeny bit of pressure at the start and then continued down and increased pressure on the way down, so... That works as well. All those little fun tricks that you kind of find out for yourself. Because that's what it is in the end, just kind of doing things that work for you, right? My ways might not work for you, but you'll find your own way for sure. This is like a jumping off point. And then the short to tall rule isn't a hard rule. If you want to put a few like shorter ones over here or a couple longer ones in here, that's okay. As long as generally you see a little bit of a transition from shorter to taller as it gets from the middle uh, to the outsides there. Mom transformed her whole basement as it was one of the courses. Oh, cool. So your mom taught art. Ooh, very cool. Sounds fun, yeah. Ooh, Bill, welcome back. Hope your dinner was good. Thanks, yeah. We're almost there. We're just doing the trees. And then we've got a little forest friend to add into the pathway. Do a nice little deer right here in a minute. A couple minutes. But yeah, hope dinner was good. Nice and filled up now. Again, Bill is who uh, raided us earlier. So if anyone hasn't checked out Bill, please. Please check them out. Do, 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 do. Was that a raid? You said hey hipster before hipster said anything. Was that a... Oh man. It doesn't show up on stream. If that's what it was. Because I see you're doing some hypes. I assume that's exactly what happened. Sure did. I can see it in the dashboard. Streamlabs. Doing me dirty. Hipster, welcome in. Thank you for raiding. My gosh. Gotcha, okay. It doesn't show up on my chat for some reason. That's very frustrating. Again, Streamlabs doing me dirty there. Or maybe Twitch, I don't know. But Hipster, thank you very much for the raid. What were you doing in stream? I didn't realize you were streaming. Gray predicted the- f I know, I was kind of like, wait. Or did she though? Maybe she was in your stream. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, Hipster, tell us what you were doing. Welcome in. Farming simulator. I can read it right there. Oh, fun. I know you were playing truck simulator that one time, Zero. Not all the simulators, huh? Twitch is a... I know. It happened just earlier, too. Well, yeah, Bill is saying that, and that's exactly what happened. Hipster meet Bill. Bill meet hipster. Bill uh, raided me about an hour ago, hipster, and the exact same thing happened. Someone was like, Bill raided, by the way. I was like, oh my gosh. I just feel so bad. I want to be able to give you all a... Uh, Nice little shoutouts and talks and all that, and I can't do that when I'm not notified by Twitch or Streamlabs that you raided. Farming simulator, yeah. Oh, Todd, you're into it? Hope it was a good time, hipster. Do you play it, Todd, or are you just excited about the prospect? I'm gonna do a couple more trees, guys. I just really like to fill up my forest specifically, but... You do what you want. So again, I'm really making sure I'm starting some a little lower, so starting some higher, just to really fill up the spaces. I'm gonna reinstall my copy of Farming Simulator because sometimes it keeps locking up. Oh, a few of you play. I love it, I love it. I think that's about good. Pretty full. Just compare. 
I think that's pretty full compared to my original. All right, I'll give everyone a minute or two and then we can start on our deer. So the deer is going to be the last element, just right in the middle. You can of course change it to a different forest friend if you want, but I keep in mind the deer of course sticking to my original. So much fun, so chill. Oh, really? Oh, every other year you buy them. <laughs> Started with commenting on the debate, which wasn't chill and was boring. Oh, okay. So I bailed 30 minutes in and did farming. So, okay, much better plan. Wasn't chill and was boring. Did you get like too much heated, heated comments in there or was just straight boring? Oh, that's interesting, hipster. I could never. <laughs> I could never. <laughs> Use tractors and heavy equipment at work, so that'd be super into the game. Oh, okay. Get into it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Jules, um, there's lots of different simulators. Um, there's a truck driving simulator. There's a, I think there's street cleaner simulator. Am I right? Microsoft Flight Simulator is probably the most uh, popular one right now, but farming is one. Yeah. Live in Arkansas. So there's a lot of farming here. Yeah, there's a whole game. There's a whole game series of simulators. Yeah, just for... Um, what some would consider like monotonous tasks, but some find it very relaxing and soothing. I think I'd be one of them. I like farming games. I've never played Farming Simulator though. I am feeding America in Farming Simulator. That's so great. My trees are black. No worries, painting. That works, that works. I used brown for mine, but black would uh, make it a little more distinct, I guess. I'm saving black for my deer. So I know the lumber physics of Farming Simulator are really drunk. I like really drunk, oh yeah. <laughs> There's a mining simulator, I think. Oh, okay, there you go. Minecraft, just kidding. Gold mining, oh, there you go, Lemmings got it. Deep sea fishing sim, yeah, there's so many. There mostly just wasn't anything new in it, although my new followers who came in the comment, uh, when I rarely do politics, uh, which is not, are both not American, which is interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, we all care too. I'm not American, I, I very much care about what's happening, so I'm not super surprised. Mm-hmm. I had no idea there was a gaming game. Yeah, yeah. Farming game, gaming game, yep. Don't forget- Oh yeah, there's a goat simulator, so you just play as a goat. Quite literally, it's just like causing chaos as a goat. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, Todd, or anyone else, but it's, uh, yeah. Foo 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 Minecraft. I've never played, but I honestly want to, Lumpy. Yeah, the, the goat, like, rams into people and just causes chaos. It'll, like, <laughs> steal someone's sandwich. Yeah. The goat is a thing. Yeah, I totally forgot to. And I think it gets even outrageous too. The goat can fly perhaps. Elite Dangerous is a space simulator. Oh, okay. All your trees are fat. Oh, sushi, you're not liking? Um, well, I mean, uh, if you really wanted, you could go back and use kind of the background color, this kind of rusty red to help carve them out a little bit or the blue or some leaves. You can use some leaves to cover them if you want. Um, in my design, I just left all the trunks on top of the leaves, but that wouldn't be wrong to cover up some trunks with leaves. So if you have any that are a little bit wide up top, you could easily just mash some little wheat leaves on here and kind of uh, cover those up. Otherwise, you'll be looking at using a background color and kind of carving things as you like. Mm hmm. My favorite is software ink, which basically is sim where you start off. Oh, really? That sounds fun. Squadrons of the space count. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Goat Simulator got popular because it had an impossible ragdoll physics. Right. Yeah, I saw some uh, clips from it. It looked pretty ridiculous. Croaky's pro. <laughs> you probably are. Take the compliment. Thanks, I think it would be easy to add leaves. Yeah, yeah. It depends where the uh, thickness is that you don't want it, but I would say if they're thicker down here than mine, you've got room to make it thick because it's the bottom of your trees, right? So yeah, just adding leaves is good. My trees are wide too. I guess I shouldn't have used a should have used a smaller brush. Uh, yeah, seal. It's um, it's very preference oriented. I mean, I use the biggest brush. Vera, welcome and thanks for the follow. My alerts are not on because I'm doing a tutorial. Um, yeah, seal. It's totally personal preference. I use the biggest brush I have for my trees, and it's just because I've learned to use it that way. I use all the bristles lined up. Um, some others hate using it that way because uh, it messes them up, and they'd rather use a teeny tiny brush, and it takes a little longer, but. That's okay, it's whatever works. So yeah, same thing as I said to sushi, I think you could just add a few more leaves on top. Again, if anything, it would make it look more layered that way. Um, so definitely nothing wrong with that if you have a couple like wider tops, for example, or middle areas. And then if they're down here, you can just use kind of the rustic red to help kind of carve up anything that you don't like. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I gave a couple extra minutes there, so we can go on to the uh, deer now, if everybody's ready for that. So if you want to add leaves on top, you can do that now, or if you want to wait till maybe after we do the deer, just in case you want to follow along, then that would work as well. Um, so I'll do my best to go through uh, each and every little bit of this deer. What I do is I usually start in one spot and I just say move right, kind of curve up, make an ear, things like that. Here's a nice close up if anyone wants. Um, it's about as basic as a deer shape can be in my opinion. Like I tried to get something that was kind of uh, just the side view. Not a whole lot of complicated stuff going on. I totally understand animals are a little bit tough to uh, kind of nail in terms of the shape and like proportions. But in terms of all the other deer silhouettes we could have chosen, I tried to get a nice easy one for everybody. Um, so I'll point out a few things before we actually paint it. Um, if you break this down into shapes, I would call this kind of a lima bean shape right here. You can see very, I think very distinctly in the body, this kind of like curve down, curve up and around. So nice big bean right in the body. Um, another distinct fi feature of deers is their very gangly looking legs, very like thin legs. Uh, the back legs are kind of like going back and forth. They kind of angle out and then down or out and then back in. Down, down for the front ones. They're a little more straight. They have a nice big neck, a nice wide neck coming up on the right hand side. And then just kind of like a round, round circle for the head, some little triangular ears. And then the, uh, the antlers or the horns are just kind of like tree branches. That's how I think of them. Every tree is unique. It's true. Man, play house flipper. Oh, a lot of people do hipster. Yep. You're welcome, canine. Samurai simulator. Yeah, I know quite a few people play uh, house flipper. Groki, CJ, Gray, I think they've all played before. All right, so I'll go through it step by step. Now that I've showed you the general general shape, I'll go through it step by step with you here. So I'm gonna start with the bean shape of the body. My body, I would say, comes maybe about halfway down the pathway, and then that way we have the top part of the deer kind of up here near the horizon line. So I'm gonna put the bean shape just a little off center. Let me just look at that straight on and then I'm gonna display it when it's all nice and pretty, but I'm trying to make a nice just lima bean shape or just bean shape in general. Oh yeah, it was a little tilty there. Okay, there we go, it's a little better. It's still a little off kilter, but it's a uh, basic bean shape. So. Uh, mainly this top part, how it kind of comes down and then back up because of the arc of the back and then how the belly comes down in an arc like this. That's a nice bean shape. <laughs> kind of a house flipper. <laughs> kind of, James. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you, Alicia. Yes, I should have clarified it's in black. Thank you very much. Yep, I didn't say that. Yeah, I said it way earlier, but not not close enough here. Yes, black paint. Thank you. I'll fill this in just so you can see it a little bit easier as well. You're welcome to fill things in as you go or wait till the end and fill it all in together. Nice big bean shape. I think I'm going to extend mine maybe a little bit. I need to even it out a little bit, so I'm going to do that. Just lengthening it. There we go. I just made it a little bit longer. Oh, Phoenix, you're off to bed. Good night. Have a good sleep. Yes, I saw that, James. All of your crazy explosions and stuff. Nadine, welcome in. How's it going? I'm just finishing up a tutorial right now. How's your day been? <laughs> yeah, I think Phoenix is good nighting. Well, you know, you don't see beans in the forest, hipster. You go on a nice fall walk, nice big bean in the middle. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if Canine's going to bed. Good night to those good nighting. I'm not sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good night, canine, if you are, but I don't think you are. I don't know. We'll see. She must be hungry. Yep. I'm just gonna leave it at a bean shape. That's all. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna do some legs. So I described the back legs. Uh, well, all the legs are very thin. So I would start with very thin lines. And then what you can do is widen them out just a little bit at the body or at the base. Um, so for the back legs, they start just a, a little bit to the right from the very left hand side. And they kind of come out, just like down and out to the left. And then they bend a little bit into the right. So just a little bit of a kink in the leg. And again, I'm starting very thin and I'll thicken them as I go. It's a lot easier to uh, keep them thin to begin with. So they'll look kind of spidery to start with. And then you can thicken them a little bit later. Just so you can kind of get the delicateness of them first. So again, they both kind of come out and then back in. And now what I do is I go in and I widen out the tops a little bit and just kind of, you're kind of, um, helping them just connect and flow with the body. So you can see how I'm going along this edge here and kind of coming down into the leg to help it connect a little bit smoother. Kind of angling like that, angling. Get some thicker thighs in there. But again, the bottoms are very, very thin. And I would say I thickened up the bottoms a little bit, kind of like where the hooves are. So maybe just making it a little bit wider right at the bottoms of the legs where again the hooves or the feet are see how it looks a little more connected a little more natural now i eat them right now hoping their magic will grow <laughs> black bean dip mm. We didn't know, hipster. I, I didn't hear a magic bean joke. Maybe it was in a different stream, so you're good here. <laughs> All right, and then the front legs, they have maybe a tiny bit of a bend, but I would call them a little more straight. So maybe you want to give them just a tiny bend inwards, but way less than the front leg, or the back legs, excuse me. But same thing, you're stacking them right beside each other. One and two. A lot more straight, maybe a tiny little, tiny little bend at the knee. These are a lot more prominently bent than these ones here. Just gonna have a quick look. And same thing, you want to thicken up the thighs a little bit, make them a little wider right at the base. And same thing, just kind of allowing the body to flow with the legs. So for example, connecting this front part a little more smooth like this. Looks kind of creepy right now, but once we put the neck on, oh my gosh, it's going to be a lot better. Yikes, it looks very scary right now. <laughs> it looks like a really creepy monster. Crow James. Crow what? Just couldn't know who was who. Oh, no worries, no worries. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I'm really glad you're feeling better. Get that pizza. Now give it a human upper body, right? We can make this into, um, what are those called? Oh, I knew the name. Ugh, what's it called? You guys know. I know what you're talking about, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just being silly had a couple drinks. <laughs> it's Friday. It's treat yourself, you know. Gonna give a little tail. It's just a quick little brush stroke coming out from the left hand side. You can barely see it, but it's just a little tiny brush stroke. Not very long. It's kind of camouflaged in the leaves, but it is there. Centaur, yes! Thank you, thank you. Bless you, Lemming. Maybe, mo I don't know. I, are there a couple names for it? But Jules, you're not the only one. Everyone always suggests fun things to do at the end. It's not, I would love to do them, but just stick into the tutorial, you know? Catch me on a stream where it's not a tutorial, and I probably would. Getting goofy. All right, so now what I want to do is do a nice big neck. So again, my neck is on the right-hand side here because I did the back legs, front legs. So really, you're just kind of extending this front part up. So I'm following along the front of the bean shape and just kind of shakily bringing it up. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. In fact, I kind of like shaking my brush a little bit, just kind of like tufts of fur and stuff like that. It does not need to be super straight. And then the other side of the neck, same thing, it kind of comes down, maybe a little bit of an angle. 
and then just very abruptly kind of connects the body. I don't really curve it in. You can see it's a nice angle down, but in the end, it's a very abrupt uh, connection there. Mm hmm. Oh, welcome in Nessa. Nice to see you. Centaur. Yes, exactly. You got it. You got it. All good. And Martinez, no worries. CG, you're back. What have you been up to? Hello. Hi. You were here earlier. What's been up? I'm going to fill that in just so you can see it. Nice big neck. Thick, sturdy. Hey, hi, and hello. <laughs> nice greetings. See, so, yeah, I think this body could have been a bit longer. For the head, everybody, you don't even really need to do a head. It's more so just doing a curved... Again, it's going to look kind of creepy. But you're just kind of curving the top here. You're not really doing a distinct head apart from the neck. It all kind of combines because the deer is looking straight at us. Again, kind of scary right now, but we're going to add some uh, some ears to it and stuff. Make it look a little more like a, like a head there. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> is she thick? Yeah, she real thick. So happy it's a deer. My husband's going to love it. I'll surprise it. Oh, you really? That's good. I know we had lots of requests for a deer painting, so I figured now is the time. The Accentor. <laughs> Going outside the lines. There are no lines to go outside of. I make my own lines. She's got a big booty too, my gosh. All right, the ears, everybody. Um, they point kind of angled out, like 45 degree angles. They are curved and then they come to a point. So you're not doing distinct triangles, you're doing kind of curves into points. So here I go. I'm going to keep the outline on so you can really see. So two outward curves coming to a little point and you can see now it looks more like a head. Mm-hmm. Like a long neck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've never seen uh, that one from True True there. Who is that? That gal. Do what I want. Thank you. Listen, I do what I want. My ties. Oh my gosh, girl. Having a party. Just doing the second ear. Same thing, kind of angled 45. You can fill those in when you're ready. You can see how it no longer, I hope, looks like the top of a neck. It's more so the head and it's looking straight at us so you don't really see it distinctly compared to everything else, right? Again, my deer's got a booty. Such a booty. The ear just did magic, right? Perfect for this time of year. It's almost time for the rut. Oh, yeah. I thought you actually meant that's eight butts. <laughs> James, I was like, that's eight butts worth. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's eight butts fitting in there. She big. She thick. Bootalicious. Now it's a head. Yep. Ding, ding. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Wait, who's they? She speaks mostly French. Oh. Oh, you mean, uh, True True? My deer looks pregnant. Mine is just well fed, so we're on the same page. Um, <laughs> if you want to get rid of that, honestly, Shani, just extend the, the legs a little bit more and that'll help balance everything out. Because it's probably like the width this way, so you'll just want to get the legs a little bit more. That booty, I can't. Get that tail back on there. Okay, and the last step, not the last step, actually, I have two more steps. Second last step is adding the antlers. So I kind of think of them as tree branches. I do kind of two main tree branches coming out of the head, and then you're just putting small, like, twigs on them, you know? So what they do is they come out from kind of the top middle, and they either go kind of up to the left. So there's one coming up to the left. It kind of angles out and up. Another out to the right, angling out, and then up. Wow, that's off kilter. That's what I get for not looking straight on. It's a fine size, they just were not the same. Cool. I know it looks big, but once we fill it up, it'll be a little more proportioned. Simon friend. Oh, okay. Needs to fatten up a bit. True, it's just uh just bulking up for winter. Yes, 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 boy dear. Buck? Yeah, I should be saying buck. Oh, oh. 
I'm just painting. <laughs> okay, and then what I do is I add some branches to the antler. Again, I really think of it like a, a tree branch, essentially. So I just, uh, I like to mimic on each side, so I try and do them the same. So if I do one coming on the inside here, I'll do another coming in the inside here. I don't know if this is actually true to form, that uh, antlers are always kind of symmetrical or mirrored images, but I think they look nice that way, so that's what I'm going to do. I do what I want. So just smaller little kind of twigs, kind of V-shapes out of the antlers. They're kind of all traveling a little bit up. They're not really traveling away horizontally. They're all kind of traveling upwards. We'll do another couple big ones, maybe here, here. Teeny ones, teeny ones. And I'm not doing too many. Again, I find it very easy to kind of like fill it up uh, quickly so you don't want to overwhelm it, I guess. In fact, I think I'll do just one little nub, one little nub. There we go. There you go. And the fat uh, neck makes it a frisky male deer. <laughs> he frisky! I got you, neck not back. I got you. Oh dear. Is that the first one to say that? I think you were actually upstairs. We've had like no deer puns, surprisingly. It's a boy deer. <laughs> oh dear, it's a boy deer. Okay. Now, yeah, I, I hesitated saying that was the last one because the actual last step is adding just a small little highlight to the deer. Uh, when I did my original, I felt like my deer was a little camouflaged, especially in the dark area right here. So to counter that, I added like a medium gray just as a nice little highlight. So I'm essentially just outlining kind of the either right hand sides or upper sides of any part of the deer. So I went above uh, or around the neck here on the right hand side, around the ear. Did a few little antler touch-ups, did the back end of the deer, and that's about it. So it's just a medium gray with my teeny tiny brush. So I've washed it off. I'm mixing white with black. So any gray that'll show up on top of the black, but not too, too prominently. So that's why I avoided a light gray. It's just in between medium gray. Half, half, white, black. Again, I just kind of follow along the outside of the black on the right hand side. So I'm going down the neck area. I'll give you a nice close up in a second. It does make a difference in my opinion. Kind of go around the ear. I'll kind of follow down a couple little antler bits. Give them a little highlight. That needs to be a bit lighter. Top of the ear, we can do the back end. There you go. So that's what I added to mine. So just again, kind of highlighting just the top parts or the right hand sides. You can change that up too. By the way, I would just keep it consistent with whatever you choose. It can be the left hand side, probably not the bottom, but yeah, the top and either left or right. I have a medium gray. <laughs> Found an article saying, yes, antlers should be symmetrical. Oh, interesting. Can be lopsided due to disease or parasites. There we go. So we got a nice healthy deer, at least if mine's nice and mirrored. Mine is a little lopsided, but not much, not much. Lynette, love it. Thank you. I'll be on tomorrow. Sounds great, Lynette. I can't wait to see you. All right. Yeah. So that is technically the last step of the tutorial. I'll remind everybody the bonus step, the special step is always signing your painting. So I'm just going to sign my little EB in the corner. You can sign it wherever you want, date it on the back, whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, that is the uh, completed painting. I'll try my best to display both just so again, I can prove to you that they're always a little bit different. I painted this live on Twitch last week as I designed it. People saw me do it from start to finish and already they're so different. See, just different tones of orange and that's okay. They're still the same concept, still beautiful in their own ways, but they're always gonna be a bit different. And I'm sure yours are too. My pathway's a little different. Yeah, so there you go. It's a man deer, not a boy deer. <laughs> Oof caps. <laughs> Boy dear! <laughs> Don Yada! Wee! There's Joyce! <laughs>
doing another exercise of madness. Oh, what are you doing, Todd? Wish I had been here from the beginning. Oh, no worries. Hipster, I'll do another one Sunday. I'm doing this spoopy, uh, let me show you. It's a little more of a, oh, it's right here. Check out this one. This one's like a nice little, very Halloween-y, just like cutesy, cutesy Halloween. I'm doing that on Sunday at 3 p.m. if you're interested. Otherwise, you can always watch the VOD. I keep the VOD up. I'm now using copyright free music because Twitch is handing out DMCAs. Yay! Ha 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 ha. All right, so if anyone wants to post any photos, a uh, couple options still. Slender Fox, thank you very much for the follow and welcome in. I was just finishing up an acrylic painting tutorial there. So there's all my so. No. No? Hello? Socials? There they are, yeah, they worked. Okay, so if you prefer posting to Facebook with your photos, that is still an option. I still love that. Uh, we still have those um, event pages up. I'm just going back right now and uh, opening them up for posting if you want to post immediately. Update, nice, so quick now. Oh, lovely. All right, so that's open for posting. If you prefer Discord, there's a art share channel you can use, that works as well. Um, again, if you're interested in another tutorial, I have one two days from now for free on Twitch, uh, Sunday at 3 p.m. Again, I'm doing that cutesy little spoopy Halloween-y painting. And then I plan on doing another one Friday, the day before Halloween. I don't have a design yet, but I'll be doing that on Twitch soon and then uh, posting that up for everybody to see.